Section 44 of Library of the World's Best Literature, Ancient and Modern, Volume 3. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Martin Giessen. Library of the World's Best Literature, Ancient and Modern, Volume 3 section forty four the hunting of the cheviot the perse out of northumberland and a vow to god might he that he would hunt in the mountains of cheviot within dice in the magger of dochte douglas and all that ever with him be the fattest hearts in all cheviot he sighed he would kill and carry them away bear me faith sighed the dochty douglas again he will let that hunting if that he may then the perse out of banbra come with him a michty many with fifteen hundred archers bold of blood and bone they were chosen out of sheer stray this began on a monday at morn in cheviot the hill so he they chilled my rewa that is unborn it was the more pity the dreamers sorrow the waters went for to raise the dare bowmen bickered upon the bent with their broad arrows clear then the wild throch the waters went on every sea the share grey hundes throch the graves glent for to kill their dear this began in cheviot the hills aborn yearly on a morn and die be that it drew to the hour of noon a hundred fat hearts dead there lie they blew a mort upon the bent they assembled on Cedar's share. To the query then the Perse went to say the breetling of the dare. He sighed, it was the Douglas promised this day to met me here, but he wist a he would a file vera meant, a great oath the Perse swear. At the last a square of Northumberland looked at his hand full knee. He was war the dochty Douglas coming, with him a michty many. Both with spare bill and brand, it was a michty sicht to say. Hardier men, both of hearts nor hand, were not in Christian te. They were twenty hundred spearmen good without any fail they were borne along by the water a tweed near the bundes of tividal leave off the breathling of the dare he sighed and to your boys lucky tuck good head for never sith ye were on your mother's born had ye never so meekly ned Dochte Douglas on a stead, he rode all his men before. His armour glittered as did a glade, a bolder barn was never born. Tell me whose men ye are, he sighs, or whose men that ye be. O oh, gave your left to hunt in this cheviot chice, in the speed of mean and of me the first man that ever him an answer made it was the good lord per se we will not tell the whose men we are he sighs nor whose men that we be but we will hunt here in this chice in spite of thee and of they the fattest hearts in our cheviot we have killed and cast to carry them away be me troth sighed the dochty douglas again therefore the tone of us shall de this die then sighed the dochty douglas and to the lord per se to kill all these guiltless men alas it were great pity 
but perse thou art a lord of land i am a yearl called within me country let all our men upon a party stand and do the battle of they and of me no a christus course on his crown sighed the lord per se whosoever their toe says nigh be me troth doch de douglas he sighs thou shalt never say that die neither in england scotland nor france nor for no man of a woman born but and fortune be me chance he dar met him own man for own then bespike a squire of northumberland richard witherington was his name it shall never be told in south england he sighs to king harry the fourth for sham i wat yo been great lord as twa i am a poor squire of land i will never say me captain fished on a field and stand myself and look on but will he my me weapon a wild he will no file both heart and hand that die that die that dreadful die the fierce fit hair he find and you will hear any more of the hunting of the chariot yet is there more behind the englishmen had their bows y bent their hearts were good ye noch the fierce of arrows that they shot off seven score spearmen they sloch yet bidest the yerl douglas upon the bent a captain good ye noch and that was sain a vera meant for he rocht em both woe and woch the douglas parted his host in tre like a chef a chieftain of breed with sewer spears of michte tre they come in on every seed through her english archery gav many a wound full weed many a dochte they guard to thee which garnered them no preed the englishmen let their boys be and pulled out brandes that were bricht it was a heavy sicht to say bricht swords on basnit's licht through rich mal and miniple many stern the stroke dun strecht many a freck that was full fre their under foot did licht at last the douglas and the perse met like to captains of micht and of mine they swapped together till they both swat with swartes that were of fin milan theys wore the freckes for to ficht their toe they were full fine till the blood out of their basnet sprent as ever did heil or rein yelled they perse sighed the douglas and if faith shall they bring where thou shalt have a yearless wages of jamie or scottish king thou shalt have thy ransom fre he hicht the hair this thing for the manfullest man yet art thou that ever he conquered in field fichting nay sighed the lord per se he told it there before ne, that he would never yield it be to no man of a woman born with that there came an arrow hastily forth of a michty one it hath stricken the yerl douglas in at the breast bone through liver and lungs both the sharp arrow is gone that never after in all his leaf dies his spike and more word is but an that was fecht ye me merry men wheelus ye by for me leaf dies been gone the perse leaned on his brand and saw the douglas day he took the dead man by the hand and sighed 
woe is me for thee to have served the leaf he would have parted with me lands for years thre for a better man of heart ne'er of hand was not in all the north country of all that say a scottish a knicht was called sir hugh the montgomery he saw the douglas to the death was dicht he spended a spare a trusty tre he rode upon a corsier through a hundred archery he never stinted nor never plan till he came to the good lord percy he set upon the lord percy a dint that was full sour with the sewer spear of a michte tre cleansed of the body he the percy bear at the tother seed that a man micht say a large cloth yard and mar two better captains were not in christian te than that dice line were there an archer of northumberland sae slain was the lord per se he bar a bend a bow in his hand was mad of trusty tre an arrow that a cross yard was long to the hard stale harlot he a dint that was both sad and sore he sat on sir hugh at the montgomery the dint it was both sad and sore that he of montgomery set the swan feathers that his arrow bar with his heart blood they were wet there was never a freck worn foot would flay but still in store did stand hewing on each other wheel the michte dre with many a baleful brand this battle began in cheviot an hour before the noon and when even song bell was rung the battle was not half done i talk on either hand be the licht of the morn many had no strength for to stand in cheviot the hills upon of fifteen hundred archers of england went away but seventy and tre of twenty hundred spearmen of scotland but even five and fifty but all were slain at cheviot within they had no strength to stand on he the child my rew that is unborn it was the more pite there was slain with the lord percy sir johan of agerstone sir roger the hinder hartley sir william the bold heron sir george the worthy lumley a knicht of great renown sir raff the rich rugby with dintus were beaten down for weatherington me heart was woe that ever his line should be for when both his legs were hewen in tow yet he knelled and fought on his knee there was slain with the dochty douglas sir hewe the montgomery sir davy ludile that worthy was his sister's son was he sir charles a murray in that place that never a foot would flay sir hewe maxwell a lord he was with the douglas did he day so on the morrow they made them beers of birch and hazel so grey many widows with weeping tears come to fetch their marks away tividal my carp of car northumberland my mike great morn for two such captains as slyne were there on the march party shall never be known word is common to edinburgh to jammy the scottish king that dochte douglas lieutenant of the marches he lies slain cheviot within his handes did he wail and ring 
he sighed alas and woe is me such an other captain scotland within he sighed ye faith should never be word is coming to lovely london to the fourth harry our king that lord percy lieutenant of the marches he lies slain cheviot within god have mercy on his soul sighed king harry good lord if thee will it be he have a hundred captains in england he sighed as good as ever was he but percy and he brook me leaf the death well quita shall be as our noble king might his avo like a noble prince of renown for the death of the lord percy he did the battle of humbledon where six and three scottish knichtes on a die were beaten down glendal a glittered on their armour bricht over castil tour and tun this was the hunting of the cheviot that tear began this spurn old men that knaw in the ground well enough call it the battle of otterborn at otterborn began this spurn upon a morning day there was the dochte douglas slain the perse never went away there was never a team on the march parties saying the douglas and the perse met but it is mervel and the red blood run a knot as the rain does in the strait jesu christ or bala's bed and to the bliss who spring thus was the hunting of the cheviot god send us all a good ending End of section 44